welcome back to another episode of Neon Swell. Thanks everybody for tuning in. For those of you who don't know, this is a US 22 foot sailboat that I purchased off of Craigslist in absolutely terrible condition. So in last episode, I started to attach the back hole of the boat to the top deck. I then moved on to begin the process of creating a foldable galley shelf that will fit flushly on the bulkhead there. I then move on to create this galley sink you see here from a plastic bin that I purchased from Walmart. Now in this episode, I do a little light sanding on the top deck of the boat, which I finished in episode 14. I do a little slacking off, and then I begin to finish the folding galley shelf, which I started in episode 15. So stay tuned for the rest of the episode, as I think you'll get some enjoyment out of this, and thanks for watching! Now in episode 14, I fiberglass the top deck of the boat with a few layers of 1708. I'll go ahead and grind a few of those high spots down and create a smooth surface for the top deck. Now I take a quick break to enjoy some of the hard work and do a little daydreaming while I test out the second bed and then move on to remove a few impossibly fused utensils on the second bed extension. So I'm back in the boat, I just got a, a shipment in. So these are the hinges that just came in. I'm not sure if you can see them that well, but they close into themselves like that. And then they also open up fully to create a right angle. Now if you just pop it like so, it creates a right angle and then so the table can lay right on there. And so I have two of these. They're actually pretty heavy duty. They should be able to support 550 pounds worth of force. It's not going to see that much force. Yeah, it'll be nice because I also have a design to have a pull-out slider that'll, that'll latch with this, um, this flippable table. And then uh, once everything's latched together, it'll create sort of like an, an L shape inside the galley and uh, really allow for optimization of all the space inside of here. And just uh, give me a... Um, more working room when uh, when you're cooking and stuff like that. So this is the spot that it's going to go in right there and as you can see that's where the two stove burner goes and uh, yeah let's take a look and see exactly uh, what we can create. Now I mark out exactly where I want that galley shelf to sit in regards to the top tabletop and I go ahead and place the hinges in the proper location for this to work. Now remember I want this galley shelf to fold down and be recessed so that everything is completely flush. game to go to in a half an hour and I really just wanted to provision for these this rack that I'm putting in here so I just kind of just went at it real quick as you can see what I ended up doing was just digging a hole into the foam bulkhead that I installed where I plan to put two holes actually where I plan to put these these bad boys uh, that way that'll give it tons of support when it's up upright but for the most part I gotta fill that in with cloth and epoxy I was afraid that the foam that was here wasn't going to be strong enough to support um, the shelf that I'm building here for the galley. So yeah, I just kind of started ripping out everything and grinding everything. Uh, I didn't put my mask on or anything and I'm soaked in sweat. Um, but yeah, it'll uh, hopefully after my game I, come up, I can come and epoxy this and take care of this whole thing and, and make sure that uh, maybe I can install that rack tomorrow. 
Um, I want the epoxy to dry overnight, so that's why I was kind of just hacking at it right now. So I jumped in the boat this morning to check out the fiberglass that I had laid out last night. Um, I got a little busy and uh, you might have saw some of the blurry footage but it's it's all dry and I'm ready to put the, uh, the new brackets. Uh, we're going to check it out. I haven't actually looked at it yet um, but let's see here. As you can see, I ended up putting uh, some, a piece of wood to smush all the fiberglass underneath down. And on the back side, I've also added this, this wood piece for the bracket to screw into. So it'll really give it a lot of structure and strength for, uh, for these brackets to go into once I remove this. So uh, yeah, let's uh, remove these things and see what's underneath. So you may be able to notice that the bracket doesn't actually lay flush like I wanted it to, so I have to make a few holes that will compensate for that extended piece for the latch. And I do so by drilling a few holes into the boat, and I'll clean this up a little bit later, but right now I'm really just worried about how everything is going to fit.
right, as you can see behind me here, I'm cutting a groove out in this foam uh, shelf for the galley. I'm using this circular saw to, to cut those grooves there. Uh, I have another one to do. And basically what this is gonna allow is for those brackets that you probably saw in uh, previous clips to be drilled into these little grooves and that will create a, a recessed entry for those brackets that way when they fold down everything will lay completely flush inside the galley and you won't even and this this shelf here will fold uh, right into the bulkhead and you won't even notice that there's a shelf there until you fold it up so that's the idea of putting these grooves in here now I do have to reinforce this with either some wood or multiple layers of 1708 so uh, yeah, let's see if I can uh, set this camera up so we can get a time lapse of me doing the, the second groove here. So I've been tinkering around with these grooves you see here for the galley shelf that I'm creating. Uh, what I ended up doing was making these grooves a lot deeper so that it'll fit these little pieces of plywood that I've cut. Um, and as you can see here, they fit just perfectly where they belong. And uh, these will act as reinforcements for those brackets that I have for the galley shelf. And what I'll do is uh, I'll put a whole bunch of thickened epoxy and then a few layers of 1708 um, around these little groove areas. And uh, this will still allow for the brackets to sit a little bit recessed into the foam and still allow for that, that flush folding into the, the bulkhead of the galley. And I think it'll make a lot more sense when you see everything come together. But for now, everything's going pretty well and I haven't cut my leg off yet. So uh, yeah, let's get to epoxying. As you saw in the previous clips, I took those pieces of plywood and placed them into their proper location, followed by a whole bunch of thickened epoxy and a few layers of 1708. I then went ahead and covered the entire shelf with one layer of 1708 to ensure a nice chemical bond. Now to round out the entire process, I had to dig out the edges of the foam so that I could backfill with thickened epoxy to create a encapsulized foam core and rigid outer shell.
So that's it for episode 16. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you liked that episode, be sure and hit that subscribe button and give it a like as well. And stay tuned for the next episode where I reinforce the back transom with several layers of 1708 and go ahead and start creating a few customizations to the five gallon water jug holders. So I thank you all again for watching and be sure and come back for more.